Hey folks, Matt from writeroftheimage.com. We've got a viewer writing in from Sweden who's looking to upgrade and is in the Canon line, to purchase in the Canon line. He's looking at an M6, he's looking at an SL2, and possibly considering an M50. This is uh, Born, I hope I'm saying that right, or Bajorn. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm probably slaughtering that and I apologize. Um, hi, big fan here from Sweden. Love your channel on YouTube. I have a question regarding low light. Canon SL2 versus Canon M6. Getting the M6 for a better price than the SL2 right now here in Sweden, but worried that the SL2 is better in low light, brackets video. I have not yet decided. I'm also waiting for your M50 review to be in the mix. Need my camera before I fly to Miami next week. Thank you for your fantastic knowledge. Kind regards. Born uh, from Sweden. Thanks for the question. Good question. I'm sure a lot of people, especially in the M lineup, are trying to figure out what where things fit and what to buy. And the SL2, it kind of confuses things because it's a very, very capable camera at a small light uh, body, in a small light body, at a very low price point. Um, so I guess what I want to point out here is, well, first of all, let's take a look at DxO Mark. Uh, I've got a printout here. I'll show you here on the screen. This is DxO Mark's um, the SL2, which is the EOS 200D, versus the uh, EOS M6. And I guess first and foremost, what you can see here is that the overall scores are very close. We got the M6 at 78 and the 200D, the SL2, at 79. The portrait color depth um, rating is 23.6 on the SL2 versus 23.4 on the M6, so really no difference at all, equal there. Um, the dynamic range, landscape, brackets dynamic range, uh, significantly better on the SL2, which is why I think it's scoring actually higher overall, because we got 13.4 versus 12.6. Um, so that's that's pretty that's pretty decent. It's almost a full stop. Sports or low light, so that's the ISO performance, how how the high ISO is. It's actually rated worse here on the SL2 and um, better on the M6. We got 10.41 on the SL2 and 13.17 on the M6. Now, I want to point out that I think perhaps this might be. I'm not sure if this is raw because these sensors are virtually identical. And I think if you're shooting raw on these, you're not going to see much difference at, if any, between the two cameras, especially in real-world shooting. I don't think you'll notice any. Uh, I was very impressed with the SL2 when I had it there, very impressed with its low-light abilities. And I think that might just be... I'd have to go in and drill into DxO Mark and see. Um, maybe one of our viewers can chime in here and note whether they if they know if that rating there is based on JPEGs or on actual, you know, what you can extrapolate out of a RAW file. The reason I say that too is because um, if we look here over at DP Review, um, they said that the SL2 has a relatively unsophisticated noise reduction system in JPEGs, which does a so-so job of removing noise, though at the expense of fine detail. But then they go on to say detail capture in the underlying RAW files is very good and on par with the SL2's peers. Noise levels are also competitive, including at the highest sensitivities. So basically, what I think we can see here is uh, DP Review is kind of saying what I'm suspecting from DxO Mark's results, that they're basically, when you're shooting RAW, I mean, I think these are essentially the same sensors and Yes, when you have a JPEG processing engine, you may see differences, but when we have the raw files and you're working with the raw files, I really suspect that you're not going to see any difference, certainly not real-world shooting difference between these two cameras. Uh, I have sh shot the SL2, and I was very happy with it. Uh, to continue on, though, and, and your thoughts on the M50, right now, if I was to buy a camera and the M50 is in your price point and you're looking at what to buy, I would go with the M50 because of its advanced video, because it's small and light, it has the most advanced dual pixel AF, and it does have 4K. If video is not your thing at all, then the SL2 or the M6 you could consider, and I'd probably go with the SL2 and put more money into lenses. But if video is at all on the table, if you're interested, and you did say it's better for low light when you were looking at being worried about the SL2, um, then I would look at the M50 because it does have the option to do 4K video at a very competitive price point. It's, and, and it is effectively the only Canon right now, APS-C body, that offers 4K. So that's the way I would go. But let's throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you think the differences between the SL2 and the M6 are real differences? 
even if you're shooting in RAW, despite DP reviews seeming to agree with me that the DxO mark studies, even though their sensor rates higher, they're saying the low light abilities aren't equal. I'm wondering if that's JPEG because what DP review is saying is basically backing that up. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that you're going to see better? And what about in real world terms, real world shooting terms? Because sometimes on paper, this stuff doesn't translate. Let me know what you think. Should he go with the SL2? Should he go with the M6? Or should he go with my current pretty much standard Canon APS-C recommendation these days at the moment is the beautiful little M50 from Canon. Let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear what you guys have to say. Helps our readers get a bit more input, a little bit more feedback on their purchase before they make a decision. Thanks for your question. Good luck and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at rtheimage.com.